Have you ever wondered what goes on in the mind of an artist as they create? Welcome to a journey of intrigue and discovery as we delve into the complex psyche of those who paint not just on canvas, but on the canvas of our minds. Our guide for this journey is none other than the quintessential Renaissance man himself, Leonardo da Vinci. A polymath who excelled in art, science, music and more, da Vinci's mind was a labyrinth of creativity and curiosity. His work, from the enigmatic smile of the Mona Lisa to the detailed sketches of anatomy and engineering, is a testament to his unique perspective of the world. Artists like da Vinci do not simply see the world, they experience it. Every shadow has depth, every color a story and every shape an emotion. They perceive the world through a lens of creativity and emotion, transforming mundane reality into extraordinary masterpieces. This unique perception is not just a talent, it's a mindset, a way of life that shapes their every thought and action. Da Vinci's mind was a whirlwind of ideas and images. His notebooks are filled with sketches and notes, a testament to his relentless curiosity and insatiable thirst for knowledge. They reveal a man who saw beauty and potential in everything, from the flight of a bird to the curve of a human spine. His mind was a canvas, and his thoughts the paint that colored his world. This unique mindset of artists, this ability to see the world differently, is what sets them apart. It is what allows them to create works of art that captivate us, that make us think and feel, that leave an indelible imprint on our souls. So come, let us embark on this journey. Let us delve into the mind of Leonardo da Vinci, explore the corridors of his thoughts, and uncover the secrets of his genius. Let us see the world through his eyes, and perhaps, in the process, discover a bit of the artist within ourselves. Dive into the depths of da Vinci's mind and explore the intricate details of his psyche. Leonardo da Vinci, a name synonymous with art and innovation, wasn't born with a paintbrush in hand. Born in the rolling hills of Vinci, Italy, young Leonardo was immersed in the vibrant hues of nature, the exquisite architecture, and the diverse faces around him. These elements sparked his inherent curiosity, a trait that would later become his artistic compass. His early years were not those of privilege or formal education. Instead, they were filled with observation and exploration. He was a child of the outdoors, learning more from the patterns in the wind and the shapes in the clouds than any textbook could offer. These experiences, these moments of discovery, were the initial brushstrokes on his blank canvas. His perception of the world was formed not merely by what he saw, but how he saw it. He sought beauty and understanding in the ordinary, transforming it into the extraordinary through his art. The young da Vinci's life was a canvas, gradually filled with experiences that would shape his artistic vision. Artists like da Vinci don't just see the world, they perceive it. Imagine a world where every object, every person, every leaf fluttering in the wind holds a story waiting to be told. This was the world as Leonardo da Vinci saw it. His was a perspective shaped by an insatiable curiosity and a profound appreciation for the intricate beauty of the world around him. Da Vinci didn't merely observe his surroundings, he delved into them. He saw the potential for art in the mundane and the extraordinary alike. The play of light on a piece of glass, the texture of a weathered stone, the graceful curve of a woman's neck. All of these were more than visual stimuli to da Vinci. They were fragments of a complex, ever-changing tapestry that he sought to capture in his art. This unique perspective is what set da Vinci apart from his contemporaries, while others were constrained by the rigid artistic conventions of their time, da Vinci defied them. He was a pioneer using his art to explore the world in ways that hadn't been done before. The artist's perspective is not a fixed lens, but a fluid one, constantly shifting and evolving. 
It's a lens shaped by personal experiences, emotions, and an intrinsic connection with the world. It's this lens that allows artists to see what others can't. Da Vinci's perspective was a reflection of his relentless pursuit of knowledge. He was not content to simply represent the world as he saw it. He wanted to understand it, to uncover its secrets. His sketches of human anatomy, his studies of the natural world, his intricate mechanical designs, all were born from this thirst for knowledge. His perspective was also shaped by a deep-seated empathy for the human condition. This is evident in his art, where he portrayed not just the physical likeness of his subjects, but their emotions, their thoughts, their humanity. In the end, da Vinci's unique perspective was his greatest asset as an artist. It allowed him to see beyond the surface, to penetrate the veneer of the ordinary and find the extraordinary within. Through da Vinci's eyes, the world wasn't just a physical space. It was an endless source of inspiration. Art is an emotional endeavor, and da Vinci was a master at capturing emotion. His canvas was not merely a surface for paint, but a mirror reflecting his inner world. His works, from the enigmatic smile of the Mona Lisa to the raw humanism of the Last Supper, all hold a piece of his soul, a testament to his emotional state during their creation. Da Vinci, like many artists, had an intimate relationship with his emotions. He understood that his feelings were not just transient states of mind, but powerful creative forces. They were the invisible hands that guided his brush, the unseen muses whispering in his ear. His emotions were the colors he used to paint his masterpieces, each shade representing a different sentiment, each hue a distinct state of mind. This emotional connection is not unique to da Vinci. It is the lifeblood of all artists. They channel their emotions into their work, transforming their feelings into a tangible form. A painting, a sculpture, a piece of music. Each is a manifestation of the artist's emotional journey. They are the physical embodiments of joy and sorrow, love and loss, hope and despair. When we look at a piece of art, we are not just seeing a beautiful image or hearing a harmonious melody. We are experiencing the artist's emotions. We are stepping into their shoes, seeing the world through their eyes, feeling what they felt. This is the power of art. It allows us to connect with others on a deep, emotional level, to understand and empathize with their experiences. Art is a dialogue of emotions. It's a conversation between the artist and the audience, a silent exchange of feelings and thoughts. Artists pour their hearts into their work, and in return, they ask for our emotional engagement. They invite us to step into their world, to feel their emotions, to share in their experiences. For da Vinci, each brushstroke was a testament to his emotional journey. His works are not just beautiful images, they are emotional landscapes, maps of his heart and mind. They are a testament to the power of emotion, a testament to the power of art. Da Vinci's legacy extends beyond his art. It lies in his approach to life and creativity. Da Vinci, a paragon of the Renaissance, was not just a painter, but a polymath whose insatiable curiosity led him to explore various fields. His legacy, however, is not confined to his masterpieces. It extends further into his mindset, his approach to life, and the way he viewed creativity. He approached art not as an isolated form, but as a culmination of knowledge from various fields. His understanding of anatomy, physics, and nature all played a part in his art, and it is this holistic approach that has left an indelible mark on the world of art. For generations, artists have looked to da Vinci as a beacon of inspiration. His psychological approach to art, his desire to understand the world around him, and his ability to translate that understanding into his work has influenced countless artists. It has encouraged them to look beyond the canvas, to delve into the depths of their minds and the world around them before they pick up their brush.
In fact, the influence of da Vinci's psychological approach to art can be seen in the works of many modern artists. From the surreal landscapes of Salvador Dali to the thought-provoking installations of Yoko Ono, the fingerprints of da Vinci's approach can be traced in their work. Understanding the psychology of artists can open our eyes to a deeper appreciation of art. It allows us to step into the artist's mind, to see the world through their eyes, and to understand the emotions and thoughts that have been poured into every brushstroke. Art is more than just a visual feast. It is a reflection of the artist's mind, a window into their soul. And when we understand the psychology of artists, we can see beyond the colors and shapes on the canvas, we can see the heart and soul of the artist, their fears, their hopes, their dreams. Just as da Vinci left an indelible mark on the world of art, understanding the psychology of artists can leave a lasting impact on how we view and appreciate their work. Art isn't just for the da Vinci's of the world. Everyone has an artist within them, waiting to be unleashed. The magic of art lies not just in the final painting that graces the gallery wall, but in the journey of creation itself. The joy of holding a brush, the thrill of making that first stroke, the sheer exhilaration of watching your thoughts take form on a blank canvas. The psychology of an artist is a fascinating world of emotions, insights and inspirations, and understanding it is like being handed the key to your own creative potential, it's about seeing the world, not just as it is, but as it could be. It invites you to question, to explore, to dare. So dare to dream, dare to create, dare to express. Unleash the artist within you, because art isn't about perfection. It's about expression. It's about emotion. It's about you. Who knows, the next Greek masterpiece could be just a thought away. After all, Every artist starts with a blank canvas.